lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of problems on the internet that I read about where customers have classic cars and they have electrical issues and they are afraid and scared and just don't understand electrical well enough to check it out so they start asking questions they get some good advice some bad advice but really you can learn to do this especially if you have an old car you're going to need to learn to do this because the wiring on older cars is old and it has problems and it is dirty at connections and you need to understand first of all how to read a wiring diagram so get your owner's manual out take a look it looks confusing at first but when you first start looking you'll realize that left to right is the front of the car this is the back of the car and when you start seeing wires of colors and following with your your ruler or pencil you'll find out where it goes and you get better and better and if you just have one car you'll learn the wiring on it pretty quick and you'll probably have a lot of it memorized so now what's what's the key thing to knowing how to analyze problems and it has to be the meter uh, a good meter will save you a whole lot of time it will tell you a lot of things that help you find problems and I highly, I've had this fluke meter for 20 or 25 years. It has saved my life so many times. And I bought the very best meter because there are things about this meter that it can do that other cheap meters can't do. Now there's nothing wrong with the cheap meter, but you can learn a lot of things from the information this one gives you. So just basically, uh, when you turn this dial to V right there, you can now check bolts. And so I'm just gonna simply check the bolts on this battery and you'll see that we have 12.19 volts. Now, as I did in another video, I pointed out that 1255 is a charge battery. So this battery has been set in a while and it's not fully charged up, so it needs to be rechecked. What else can you do with this meter? Well, a lot of people like to check resistance. You know, <clears throat> what's dirty in a wire? Why can't the electricity get through the wire? That's what a resistance is. What I like to check is what we call voltage drops. Boy, that tells you a whole lot. And what a voltage drop is, is leaving your voltmeter in the volt capacity reading and checking both ends of a wire like this and this. That tells you when, when the system is operating. So if you turn the key on and you got everything powered up, then do a voltage drop test from say the ignition switch to the positive side of the ignition coil and you can tell if the wiring from that ignition switch to the coil is dirty that it has some resistance in it and it's causing a voltage drop or too low voltage for the coil to operate so this one shows none but if you get a half a volt or more when you do that you've got some problems you may want to run a new wire out there rather than check to find where that bad connection is that's one thing I do with this. Then there's a, what's called a min-max setting for this. And you can do this, and then it will check a, so you can walk off and leave it for a while while something's running, and you can check to see if that coil is always getting 12 volts or if at times it drops down to eight volts. And this will record it for you. And all you do is then cycle this a couple of times and it will give you the high and the low. That's a perfect thing to have that I really like about it. You can also, check for mini amps uh, sometimes that's that's helpful but the two things that I told you about are probably the three things are really great things to know how to use when you use this meter and it will save you a lot of time once you understand where your wiring goes where it attaches and what's powering it up and what do you need to check to find out why it's not working now there's some other things that you're going to need besides a meter number one you're going to need some jumper wires like these test leads right here where you can just pull these out and if you need to run 12 volts from the battery to some other part of the car or if you need a good ground then you have this it's magnetic so it'll hold on someplace so it won't fall around and a, a jumper wire is a great thing now these are expensive but you want to go buy some wire at the hardware store and make your own clips then do that but make sure you got a long one that'll reach from say the gas tank all the way to the battery. That's what I like. I have one that's even longer than this that I use when I really need to get some weight. Now, if you find the problem, then you may want to use this. This is a wire, wire connection cleaning tool set that you could use to clean the connectors 
like for instance this connector right here if it was dirty inside of there you could use a tool just like this or this or this to go inside of there and clean that tool that uh, connector up so it makes a good connection that's a big problem with old cars are, are faulty connections faulty grounds of faulty wiring wiring that's been chewed up by rats so this is a good thing to, to clean stuff up with if you want to clean your wiring up and check the connection again using the voltage drop method. I hope this is helpful. Buy this meter, you'll love it. I'm Barry Wilson with Wilson Auto Repair. I've been at this location 40 years. If you want to see more of my videos about tools or suggested ways to fix your car, go to my website, wilsonauto.com.